uh, yep. when it counted, you came up big. Yeah, you know, just staying patient, knowing the opportunity would come, um, and you know, we're fortunate to have a chance to to get, get get back on the field with our offense and, and have a two minute drive to win the game. And um, it was good to see Ryan step up and make plays and and uh, you know finish it off strong. How much did big plays become a factor this game for you guys? Because defensively and obviously. Yeah, on both sides of the ball, you know, Khalif making a play down the field, Derek making some big runs, um, clutch catches, just to you know keep the momentum and the energy um, on our sideline, and uh, you know just never giving up. Do you feel? Fresh at the end of a game like that, where you're able to make plays, or are you worried that you didn't establish a lot of rhythm with with all those big plays? Or? Um, no, I mean you know, it's our job to stay fresh and ready to go. Um, so when we're on the sideline, if we're not getting a ton of reps, you know it's it's our job to stay ready to go. And um, I think most guys did a decent job of that. You come out of the tunnel, you see all the red, the Chiefs fans in the stands. Is that any additional motivation for you guys to say, hey, this is our place? Yeah, I mean we knew with uh, Mahomes coming back, it, it would be a, a, a packed house and um, a lot. A lot of people wanted to come and see him play, and uh, you know he, he performed well today. But uh, you know we're just happy that the Titans could come out with a win. One twenty one left in the game. You guys go onto the field. What was the vibe in, in the huddle? Let's go win the game. We knew we needed a touchdown, and um, we knew we had a, a tough quarterback that could step step in the pocket and make plays. And well, we believed in him. I believed in our offensive line, and and uh, receivers made plays, and, and Ferk made a great play, and uh, just a great opportunity to go win the game. Was there any conversation in the in the huddle? Anybody say anything in particular? I don't even think we huddled ever. I think it was all like two minutes. Well, when uh, you up gathered before going onto the field. Yeah, I mean on the sideline we knew if, if we got another chance to get on the field, we you know we got to make the most of it. We might have one opportunity to go down there and score. So uh, we all got our heads held high and, and uh, motivated to go win the game. I sorry, if you're done, can, can you walk us specifically through your play? What what that play called for when you first option? What do you break the huddle thinking? And yeah, so that was that was another you know tempo play, uh, no huddle. So uh, you know just four seams and. I knew if we got two man, which we did, I could they could try and win inside, and it'd be a big play, and it turned out to, to be a touchdown. What'd you see as, as you were running the route, and when you turned? Yeah, I mean, I I knew what coverage it was, I knew what route I had to do to win to win, and uh, I just knew uh, if Ryan had time to deliver the ball, uh, it'd be a big play. Would it feel like as you went to the ground and had a lot of people? Uh, a little bit of pain, got hit in the side, but uh, just just you know, hearing the crowd go go loud and and. Uh, Knowing that we just went up uh, at one point was was huge, and um, it's a, it a good good play, good moment. We've talked about you guys kind of running out of time in terms of a loss and yeah. mounting. How much did this need to be the moment that spins you guys? Big time, and uh, you know, going into this bye week, knowing that we got a week to, to get healthy, to rest, and uh, get our minds ready for a six game stretch where we need to win some games. Uh, it's, it's big time for us.